Two years have passed since I started this Let's Play. Jesus, let's finish this already. Welcome back, everyone. I am Dark Minded Sith. I'm taking a quick detour down here back to floor one. Because I want to show a couple of things that I forgot to show, thanks to some comments. First off, if you talk to Lago after getting the objective, but don't help him yet, you get this interesting dialogue, where Mario is actually mentioned. Yeah, he's kind of moved on to bigger and better things. He probably would have helped, but our build drill did just fine. And also, when you occasionally come down here, I'm guessing it's just random, because sometimes I came down here and sometimes uh, it was there, or sometimes it wasn't. If you go up to this door here... Hmm. I wouldn't come in here after me for about 10 minutes. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not go in there. I've been through my fair share of smelly stuff already. This game and the last one, so... With that, let's move back up to floor 2. Alright, here we are on the second floor. And over here I hear giggling. It can either be a Globo or a Great Fairy. Which, both are magical. What do you think is funny, huh? I don't know if the Globos are giggling in a... Hee hee, he's never gonna find me kind of way. Or if they think something else is funny that I'm just not seeing. I hope it's not the first, because... Then that means they're kind of out to get me. They're trying to inconvenience me. Since I've been doing this Let's Play for like seven years now, it's the last thing I need. No more delays. Okay, so we're gonna start things off today by vandalizing property. It's what I do best. Okay, can't go in here. Looks like we need another one of those batteries. The Electromagnet Chamber. Well, I've got a barge on in there. Grenade egg? Nah. Sometimes, you know, I just think, you know, maybe just blowing it up will work, but... Nah, they got that thing protected pretty heavy. And by that, I mean they require one battery to get in, so... They obviously don't think it's that important, whatever's in there. Okay, so we're here in this room, full of green toxic... whatever, all over the place. I don't think this is used to make underwear. I don't know, I think Grunny just kind of has a thing for making torturous environments. She doesn't treat her employees very well. So she's like most bosses. Oh, there's a Jinjo there. Maybe. I don't know. It's a little out of the way, but at this point in the game, even the Minjos are like, yeah, it took you five decades to find me? Looks like I was a Minjo the whole time, ha ha ha. Yeah. They, they're out to get me. They're at war, they're like the Crips and the Bloods. Don't know what's over there. But anyway, this room... Hey, what's that? What are you just rubbing in my, my face that I can't go in there without getting hurt? Also, barrels attack me. Hey, please, please don't do that. I know getting rid of air bubbles right now doesn't really matter, but... Okay, so this room... I know that there's going to be... These stupid things are going to come out, so I need to find the camera. And you're right there. Uh, so much for monitoring, yeah. Got rid of you, no problem. No, I don't, I don't want that. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, but that thing's probably going to respawn in, in 12 seconds, so I need to hurry up. So we're going to vandalize more property down to floor one, in case we need to go back, but we have warp pads, but that area is going to be important a little later. Yeah, see? I think it was almost exactly 12 seconds. Alright, let's hurry up and get out of here before 12 honeys of damage. Okay, now we're just back in here again. Hey, no, 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 get out of here, please. I'm sorry I took your honey and killed all your friends, but <laughs> revenge is not the way. Alright, so we opened up these areas. We need a battery. And some other stuff. 
keeping with the Banjo Tooie tradition of we need things, so let's go get things that activate things. It's kind of all this game is. It's a big quest of just making stuff do other stuff. Okay, so first up, oh, the battery's over there. So we need to get Banjo Solo to get that battery. To get a thing to make that thing work. But first up, let's get our favorite dragon friend here. Let's go down here and probably take fall damage, but it's totally worth it. So I want to get things done as fast as possible. Because I hate this game, apparently. So let's bring you around here, Al. Oh wow, two health. Yeah, Kazooie, you're pretty weak by yourself. Alright, over here. Thankfully, we got Jam Jars here, and he'll heal us. So yeah, teach us how to tie our shoes, I don't care. Just heal me, please. Here we have the leg spring. This makes Kazooie jump just a little bit higher. Because, you know, she's by herself, and... She's just not all that tall, so... And there's not just 800 springy step shoes all over the place. <laughs> That's what you get for... I don't know. Making me making it to where the person who has to learn the move has to be the only one here. That whole inconvenience. That's that's what you get. Yeah, I don't I don't like that. There's no indication as to who needs to know that move or not. So I just have to go for it and hope that it's, I have the right person there to learn the move. And that's stupid. So, anyways, Jinjo's here. Are you a fake? No, you're not. And that's all the Browns. Brown family's complete. It's a wife, a husband, and two kids, maybe. Or maybe it's just four roommates hanging out, living together, sleeping on sleeping bags. We'll check them out one day. But I don't have time to go check on them and see how they're doing, because I have batteries to collect. And Cheeto pages. I don't really care about those either. Because but... I don't like cheating. Maybe a little bit. Alright, let's drop you down here. Okay, good, he didn't, he didn't go- Oh, hurt! Okay, let's knock you out. Come on. There we go. Give you a battery headache. There we go. I don't even know what size battery that is. Whatever size, it makes our backpack gigantic, so... Alright. So we're gonna continue our quest of fetch quest. Of taking items to places and making things do things. Kazooie, you just stand there. Everything's green today. It's like the green stars in Mario Galaxy 2. Anyway, let's toss the battery out and get half naked. You go in there. Additional battery power channeled to door. Access is now granted. And we're actually not going to go in there because we can't really do anything in there. I would go in there just to show it off and stuff, but I've been doing this Let's Play for too long, and uh, I can't really take my oh-so-sweet time with things anymore, so maybe one day. Dude, please, stop that. That's just disgusting. I don't want anything green swirling around me. Green's a cool color for cool people, but not in this game, unless it's a green Jinjo. Anyway, I hear a whining rabbit. Hi, hi, hello, hi. I don't know if Granny's like paying them a bonus for killing Banjo or what. Probably not. But they're really determined to get me so much that they're not even doing anything else except standing around just waiting for me to show up. Anyway. Yeah, this factory's not functioning well. Might want to get your workers to work on that, instead of trying to kill me, Grunny. Everything's malfunctioning, and... Well, it's partly my fault. Okay, let's step on the switch. Don't have to pound our behinds on it. Ah, more of these guys. Get out of here, please. But anyway, we made a little shortcut there, so now... It is actually high time we got help from Humble Wumba. Wherever she is. Uh, she's not up there. 
She's in this back room here. Okay, we've got a pretty fun transformation this time around. A factory. What are we going to turn into? A giant machine? Some Terminator nonsense? Let's find out. Ooh! I'm going to call this washer. Fire plenty underwear. Alright, so we are a washing machine. This is a really cool transformation. This is actually a bit of a throwback to the first game. I don't think I was ever able to show this in my Let's Play, unfortunately. But there, are, if you go to Mumbo Jumbo in the first game... <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> there is a completely random time where he will accidentally turn you into a washing machine. And it's just for a kick, uh, a very quick little giggle. He just says, oops, wrong spell, or something. And then he changes you right back. And it's a completely random thing that happens, and I was never able to show it, unfortunately. But this game, they put it to its full use. Humba's like, yeah, I'm going to take that accidental spell and do something useful with it. So we can be a washing machine. We can move around on wheels. And we can, most importantly, shoot underwear. Which has always been what I have strived to do in life. Okay. Although, I don't know if it's filthy underwear or... Yeah, it looks pretty gross. Unfortunately, this is kind of not the best transformation in terms of offense. Because you jump like half a centimeter. And... The underwear is not very powerful, and it doesn't launch very far, so... But we're going to make up with that for some other things, so let's go ahead and warp down to floor one, and... Mechanical personnel may not use the warp pads. <sighs> Who put you in charge, huh? You, you did take the warp pads? I don't think so, then. Put that guy in charge. Granny's in charge. I mean, she wouldn't let me use them anyway, but... But yeah, what's interesting about the washing machine is with the washing machine, look at that, it fits perfectly in here. We can actually use the elevator with the washing machine. We can go to all the floors, willy-nilly, just like that. Floor 5 is Banjo's head for some reason. So, that's a little convenient. Of course, it's not really going to matter all that much later when we have all the warp pads activated, but it's convenient for now. So right now I could go to pretty much any floor. Or not even pretty much, I could go to any floor. But we're gonna save that for later, because we've got other things to worry about. Like dirty uh, dirty uh, overalls, for instance. A washing machine! Can you give my overalls a quick spin? Throw them inside and I'll give it a try. Is it safe? I don't want them to get ripped. Just drop your shorts, buddy! Yeah, we haven't got all day. Yeah, we really don't, actually. Okay, is that the equivalent of, like, tasting it? Because it's pretty gross. I mean, you need a bath, too. But somehow that cleaned his whole body. Try and find my five skivvy workmates. They're wrong. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Quick rinse. You're pretty dirty. So that is how we're going to clean the overalls of all the rabbits. They're all throughout the level, and we need to wash their overalls, because they apparently can't do that for some reason. Stop it! I'm a washing machine. I mean, I kind of blend in with the factory. You really think I'm an intruder? I guess it's the backpack. I probably don't... I don't even need to have that right now. Probably should just keep that at Humble Wumba's place. But she's like, no! No room! Backpack massive big! Or something. That's probably her excuse. Alright, that one's up there, but we can't get him just yet. It's actually going to be quite some time before we can take care of that poor little guy. Okay, where is, where is the elevator? And where is the creator? No. So now we're going to go back up to floor two. And it's going to be a field day for the washing machine. I'm just going to go all around and just clean everything. It's going to be like Mario Sunshine. Back to floor two with our large backpack. Okay, so I opened up an entrance somewhere around here. Will you just get out of here, man? You really want me dead. For no reason. I have 
done nothing to you except killed you about five times, but other than that... Also, moving around with the washing machine is cool, too. The squeaking seems like it'd be annoying, but it's kind of fun. I enjoy it. So we're going to go down to floor two here. Go on the switch. And what does that do? It activates cutscene outside, I guess. That opens the door that's actually right next to us. It just wanted to make it all dramatic and cool, I guess. It's like Donkey Kong 64. So now we have this back entrance. Or exit, or... Entrex, whatever you want to call it. Donkey Kong 64 likes to show cutscenes when you do the simplest thing, like open a door. And play little victory music, too. It's like, dude, I opened a door. I can kind of just see I did that. Oh great, you're on patrol. Well, let's try to use the underwear. Yeah, I bet you never thought you'd be killed by undergarments, did you, buddy? And two shots. Wow, you were weak. Oh, great. I didn't realize it was that. Oh, no! <laughs> God! Well, crap. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a lot to do left with the washing machine, but... Crap. <laughs> okay, that switch don't want to bother with yet. That's a Banjo and Kazooie thing. No! No, 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 no. Please, no. Okay. Also, the washing machine can hang out in here and not get hurt. For some reason. Okay, in the back part here. In the very back. For some reason... Okay, there's health here. Good. Please. Alright, health takes priority before you and your stupid, dirty un overalls. Alright, so here is rabbit number two. He's way back here in the swamp area for some reason. I guess maybe that's how his overalls got dirty. Alright, he gets briefly naked. There we go. That's better! Try and find my fork! This is reminding me of the Kukos. Where she's like, you know, find the other three and... You know, you get that a lot in games. You have to go find a total of something and character reminds you of how many are left, which is nice. The way I'm not sitting here, you know, okay, how many are left? I did this and did, you know, I don't have to do any of that nonsense. That was apparently an emergency exit. <laughs> which is funny, because they had the box covering this area. They really don't want people to escape if there's an emergency. Is that for me, or is that for the co-workers? Granny wants me to stay inside if I get hurt, and I'm on the verge of death, but she's willing to sacrifice her workers as well. Which is not what you should do if you have a business. But... Okay, and up here, I'm gonna go through this door we opened. Whee! Oh crap. And we have our third bunny. Is there a catch at all? Dude. Okay, there we go. I do mind. I'm probably tasting your dirty overalls, and I don't know where they've been. So yeah, I do mind, but I'll do it anyway, because I want things. Alright, find my other three. Okay. Three more, and we have three floors left, so... Hopefully, it's working out pretty well for us, so... Yay! Oh yeah, he dances forever. He dances for eternity. He is so happy to have clothes washed and a clean body. I should just I should dance every time I get out of the shower. 